I call uh, Marima Fox, five minutes. Thank you, Mr Speaker. I rise to take a call on um, this very important discussion. It, I think it is an important discussion. And it's important because uh, I absolutely agree with a lot of the objections about why we're doing this. But actually, I absolutely agree that I'd like to see a change in the flag. And I'd like to see a change in the flag because I'd like to see something that does symbolise our duality of nationhood. Should we be spending this amount of money on doing it? I'd like to think not. Should we have put a constitutional change first before we put a flag change in? absolutely agree with that. I'd love to see us talk about the Constitution in very real ways, which is why the Māori Party wanted to have the Constitutional Review. Uh, and that's what's happened. Based on the Treaty of Waitangi, a constitution that um, uh, sees us into our young adulthood as a nation, that brings us forward into our future, and then a symbol of our new nationhood, our independence, our forward-thinking nation built on a constitution of partnership with a treaty at its base, I think that would be amazing. But we don't have that opportunity right now. We have this big debate about how much it costs, about whether we um, are disrespecting our fallen soldiers, about all of those things, and really we're missing the opportunity to talk about the symbol that uh, encapsulates who we are as a nation. Should it have been around the other way? I absolutely agree, it should have. But I think, I don't worry about what other people's agendas are, are at. I want to know what our people think. And if we get caught up in talking about everything else, we will miss the opportunity to pick a symbol to choose something that truly represents us. And I've listened uh, to Mr O'Rourke's uh, comments about um, our fallen warriors and the flag and what it represents. And I actually, I disagree. I don't think that our soldiers fought for a flag. They fought under a flag, yes they did. But they fought for each other. And they fought for their families. And they fought for the right to be free and to express our freedoms. And our warriors, our Māori Battalion, our Hokofutu Atu, went to that same war, those same battles, and gave their lives under a flag that actually at the time didn't recognise their right to be free people. Because under that flag, they came home and were not treated in the same way. They were not given land. They were not given an allowance. They were disrespected under that flag. And when they went to war, they were not even given a weapon. So actually I say they fought for what? For the price of citizenship under a flag that didn't recognize their greatness. We do now, we do now. So let's move forward. Let's move forward as a nation and take the opportunity to have the discussion. Because if we get caught up in the discussion that's only about the money and all of those things, then we will miss the opportunity. I don't think it is disrespecting. You can still fly the Union Jack, this flag that is proudly represented on the benches over here. You can still fly that if you want to. But I think it's time to move us forward into a new generation that represents the duality of our nationhood, where I can proudly see myself as a Māori citizen of this country who my ancestors fought for the right just to speak their own language in this country, who my ancestors fought for the right to live on their own lands, to practice their own culture, and I want to see a flag that represents their struggle, because I don't see that in this flag right now. I'd like to take the opportunity for our people to come together, to have that discussion, and really think about what is the symbol that encapsulates our desire as a nation to stand together and be united, recognising our duality of nationhood, our united history, our Māori history, our non-Māori history, whatever culture that is, and have it reflected in a flag and a symbol of unity for our country. I quite like the red, black and white with the fern, but I wouldn't mind seeing the Matariki stars because if we talk about navigation, there's a few stars that are missing. And so, Mr Speaker, that's why we're going to support this referendum, and I proudly do so. Kia ora. Let's talk about the flag, shall we? The flag debate. You know what? 
That flag is the flag of our colonization, not the flag of our liberation. People say, but Marama, our ancestors died under that flag. They fought for that flag. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, that's not true. They didn't fight for a flag. They fought for their whanau. They fought for their mates, their soldiers, their toto. They fought for pride. They fought for the price of citizenship in this country under that flag. And did that flag respect them when they sent them to war without a weapon? To dig the trenches of the people who would come along and then hide in those trenches so that they didn't get shot? No, under that flag, they were not respected as warriors until they proved themselves on the battlefield. And yes, you would have thought that they then had a place of mana and would be respected. No, because under that flag, they came home to this country and did not get an allocation of land and did not get a, an allowance like every other soldier who fought for this country did. That's the flag of our colonization, not the flag of our liberation. And yes, it's going to cost a bit of money, but it's going to cost not 26 million. It's actually going to cost 17.3 million. And to have a second referendum is only another 3 million. I say only. That's a lot of money. We could do a lot with that. But whether or not we agree, they're going to spend it anyway. So take the opportunity to have your say. Get in the conversation. Hijack this flag referendum and have our say as Māori that we must have a symbol of our duality of nationhood. See yourself in the flag. Make a flag, put it up, chuck it in there. Have your say, Fano, and get out and vote. The power of voting is uh, that you can have a change. If you don't vote, you actually vote to stay the same. If you want to keep the flag that represents our colonization, then don't vote. But I'm saying you should get out there, have your say, take the opportunity, because to be sure, it won't come again, not in my lifetime. It won't come again. People would have taken this chance, they would have dissed this chance, and they would have lost that chance. Start with the flag, move on to the national anthem, work up to the constitution. It's time to make a change.